Find the values of the trigonometric functions of theta from the information given. We are told that the tangent is negative. So that means that theta will either be in the second or the fourth quadrant. We're told that the sine is positive. So that tells us that the y coordinate will be positive. So that means that theta is going to be in the second quadrant. It's also going to be oriented so that the y coordinate will be six times the x coordinate. The reason for that is because the tangent is negative 6. So that means then that the opposite, then here's theta, here's the reference angle. The opposite will be 6, and the adjacent will be 1 for the triangle, but negative 1 for the x-coordinate. Using the Pythagorean theorem then, we would find that the hypotenuse of this right triangle that we have formed by dropping this vertical down to the x-axis will be the square root of 37. So x will be negative 1, y will be 6, and r will be the square root of 37. The sine of theta then which is y over r will be 6 over the square root of 37, but we would rationalize that by multiplying the top and bottom by the square root of 37 and wind up with 6 times the square root of 37 over 37. The cosine of theta then will be x over r, which will be negative 1 over the square root of 37. Again, rationalizing the denominator by multiplying the top and bottom by the square root of 37, we have the opposite of the square root of 37 over 37. The tangent we know, tangent of theta is negative 6, and of course we find that by the ratio y over x, which will be 6 over negative 1, or negative 6. The cotangent of theta, then, will be x over y, which will be negative 1 over 6, so negative 1 sixth. The secant of theta will be r over x, which will be the square root of 37, over negative 1, or just the opposite of the square root of 37. The cosecant of theta will be r over y, so the square root of 37 over 6.